something a little different this week. We're going to have a look at a DMX controller. This has been bought from Smart Show. Um, comes in this little bag. You get a USB cable and the controller itself. USB input on the end here and three pin XLR DMX out the other end. Um, it's quite small. Measures 7.5 centimeters or 75 millimeters. Yeah, um, it's quite light. Uh, there's no weight in it in, in the slightest. So we've got, as it says there, USB in and DMX out. The cable plugs in the end, like so. And then the USB plugs in to your laptop. So I'm going to show you how to set this up and how to test it on your laptop if you've got nothing on your laptop. So this laptop is a fresh installer Windows and I'm going to show you how to set it up. So let's have a quick look at the, at the DMX light. So this is the DMX light I'm going to use. Um, I've got DMX in just there. Just zoom out a bit and DMX out there so you can daisy chain these up. There's the control panel there, and the other side we've got the actual LEDs themselves, which is uh, red, green, and blue. So let's plug this in. Okay, <clears throat> so what we've got here is uh, D001. That means it's in DMX mode. Uh, just to bear in mind that various lights have various different configs, so I can only tell you about this particular light. Um, we can change the DMX number by going up and down, like so. And we press enter to save. Well, we go down back to one, press save. So if you had um, three or four lights in a row and you wanted to control them all at the same time with DMX, you set the DMX number exactly the same on all of the lights. So all the lights would change at the same time. Um, okay, so let's get this plugged in. Right, so to plug it in, we're going to use a DMX cable. Now you can use microphone cables, 3-pin. In fact, a DMX cable looks identical to a microphone cable with the XLR male and female on the end. But DMX is wired up slightly different and I'll put a, a picture down there so you can see what the difference is. So what we're going to do is to plug this into the DMX in, just there. Like that. And at this end, we'll plug it into the controller. That goes there. Switch on our laptop. He says. There we go. Right, so if we plug in the controller now, nothing happens. The computer doesn't know what to, to do with it. So we need to download a few things to get this working. Okay, so let's zoom in a bit so we can see what's going on. So first thing we're going to do is to go to um, a company called Entech. Switch the big lights off so it may be easy to see. That's E N T T E C, and they have a product called Open DMX. Now we're going to cheat slightly here, um, and we're going to borrow their their drivers. So look for Entech Open DMX. Right, now we're on the page, 
Uh, what we need to do is to scroll down and there's a couple of files we need. Okay, so the files that we need are the Win D2 XX driver, which is just there. So we can download that. And the other one you want is this one here that says VB6 DLL example. Now, don't worry, we're not going to do any coding in Visual Basic 6, but download that one as well. Okay, when downloaded those two, exit out, and when the mouse works, we'll go into the downloads folder. And the first thing we'll do is download the install the drivers. So the first one we did, which is the Win um, download, is download this file called CDM two one two one eight setup. It's a zip file. So what we do is double click on that. There's a zip file. Uh, this setup file. Double click that, and we're going to install it. So extract the files. Starts the wizard. And then we can install it. So just next. Thank you. My mouse is playing up. And there we go. Ever so quick installs it straight away. That's job done. We go back one step. On your desktop now, create a folder. We'll just call it test DMX. Okay, and we go into this file. This was the second one we downloaded. This was called Open DMX DL. Double click on that, and you need four files out of this. You need the one that starts with ftd2xx.dll. You need that one. Press Control and then click at the same time. You can select multiple ones. So I'm going to press Control, and we need the Open DMX application program. The open DMX DLL file and the open DMX.lib. And that's the only three, sorry, that's the only four files you need from here. So we'll copy those and we'll put them in our test DMX folder. So if I open that up now, there we go, that's the files that we need. So, next thing we need to do is to open the program that's called Open DMX. It's the one that's marked application at the side. Double click that. Oops, there we go. Okay, and it's opened this program. <coughs> now, just to double check, we've got our controller plugged in here. Our Smart Show controller is plugged into the USB here, and then this cable, which is the DMX cable, is plugged into the back of the light, which is here. Okay. So, first thing we'll do now is we'll actually just what we call open the DMX. So this will open a channel from the laptop to the controller. We press the button that says open DMX. Now, we know it's connected correctly because it's got a pop-up here that says interface connected, sorry, interface correctly detected, and we've got a copyright notice here. So we know that's connected and it's working okay. So from the laptop, through the USB cable, to the Smart Show controller, everything's talking. Next thing we do is we click the button that says enable auto send so what this is going to do is or every time we make a change to one of these channels it's going to send the information to the light so we'll click that on like that now we need to actually see if we can get the light to light up so here we have some channels across here and if you remember when we set the DMX light we set it with DMX1. 
so let's turn up some channels and see what happens now I'm not entirely sure which is which but I do know uh, there's going to be a, a master and there's going to be a red a green and a blue so let's start turning up channels and see what happens so nothing's happening at the moment on that nothing's happening on that one this is the third one. Oh, okay so we've got a red light which has appeared on the third one nothing really out so we've got a green fading there so I'll show you that um, but nothing really else so we've got no control on the individual colors so let's fade that one back down again let's try this one so nothing on that one ah right okay so on this one we now have a flashing red so one of these channels here looks like it's controlling the strobe so is it that one no nope. is it that that one yes it is that's controlling the strobe all ah, right so if the strobe is off we get a solid light that's okay so we'll leave that one off so this one what's this one do right okay so number one is the master brightness control on it good so now that's the red color and the next one next to it is a green color and the one next to that is a blue color so we've now got individual control on the red the green and the blue so if I turn all those up to about halfway we can then use the master to turn them all down or we can individually turn them down on here So there you go, that is a very quick and very simple way of testing and checking to see if your DMX light is working. It also is a very good way of finding out what the different channels of a light actually does. It's also, thank you, to Smart Show. Uh, I bought this, so it's not a paid pr promotion or anything. Uh, so this is the DMX controller, USB to DMX, using a very simple program that would download it for free. I hope you enjoyed that. And um, if you like my channel, please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you again soon.